Rocketeers, Charlie Rocket here. I am at Super Smash Con, so that is why I am currently dressed as Bayonetta. Apparently, that is the only place I wear Bayonetta, but I'll have to change that soon because I love her. She's amazing. Oh my god. Anywho, <laughs> I figured since I was here and since I had a hotel room and since uh, I don't have any kids around, I have all this time, I could totally make a couple videos while I'm at the con or in the hotel or whatever. So I figured I'd do an unboxing. Yay! I'm only unboxing a couple things because I had them on me uh, when I went to Virginia for this con. And uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of them I keep with me and one of them I just happen to bring. Um, but I discussed a couple of them a little bit on an Instagram post, but I wanted to actually talk about the figures themselves because I didn't actually open them yet. So I am going to start with Stevani. Ooh, so beautiful. This is a Hot Topic exclusive, and I went and had to get her because I love Stevani so much. I made a really long Instagram post, even though uh, I don't know if anybody actually read it. But if you like reading, you can go check it out because it was a lot of words. Um, but I kind of talked about why Stevani was so awesome to me. Uh, she is the epitome of freedom and being a tomboy and that kind of thing. She's kind of just a boy or just a lady. I don't really know. She's a little bit of both. I'm down with it. But um, she reminds me a lot of me growing up, and I love how free she feels to be herself. I love that she has a beard that she, she has a <laughs> shave with a sword. Her 9 o'clock shadow, 5 o'clock shadow, 12 o'clock shadow. I don't know. Whatever o'clock her shadow is, it was amazing, and it was the best thing I've ever seen. Um, bam! There she is. I actually bring this with me almost everywhere because it inspires me. I think that Stevani is like the symbol of friendship and love and the connection you can have with people who are important to you. Um, you just kind of become one. <laughs> and you can just, it reminds me of, uh, actually my friend Teresa, like whenever we get together, we're completely different than when we are apart. And when we're together, it's like we have our own little language and we just uh, kind of act ridiculous. We're a little bit uh, impossible to understand by other people. But um, it doesn't matter because we're us. And that's what Stevani's all about. It doesn't matter that she's different or that she's like fresh face, no makeup, beard on her face. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't have a beard on here, but I wish she did. But um, it doesn't really matter because it's about the connection between Connie and Steven. And I think that's awesome. That was such a weird voice, but I think that's super awesome. <laughs> so that's why I love Stevani. That's why she inspires me to be myself and to be free and barefoot and run around and cut people with a sword and hit them with a shield and have long flowing hair that I already cut off. So unfortunate. That's why I gotta be Bayonetta. Anywho, Stevani. Bam! She's doing like a slow turn, like so extra. And I also really like her thick brows. Like thick brows might be in or whatever, but when I was younger they weren't. I know that because I have thick brows naturally. Like a Sasquatch. Anywho, next one up. Connie. She's my favorite character on Steven Universe. One of the few characters I actually like because realistically I don't like a lot of the characters. I just like the character design and the storylines. And Connie is my favorite because I really relate to her. Um, all of my positive uh, things about myself are things I relate with Connie. All of my negative stuff I relate with Pearl a little bit. And I don't like to talk about that or address it. Um, but Connie is super awesome. She's always there for her friends. She doesn't ask questions. <laughs> like she does, 
But if Steven's like, oh my gosh, like me from a different universe came and like punched my mom in the face and then something happened and blah, blah, blah. Can you talk to ghost me and do this, that, and other? Connie's just like, cool, I'm here. Whenever you need me, I got the sword. I'm ready. I'm training. I'm in battle for my friends. No questions asked. I don't even care. Like, she's legit. Also, Connie is very independent and very uh, confident in herself. Like, even though when they first introduced Connie, she kept talking about how she didn't have any friends. She didn't um, seem like it affected her that much. Like, she, she, like, wanted friends, but, like, she... It didn't affect her life or, or she didn't care but so much, you know? And then even later, she was cool with it just being like her and Steven. She was cool with like herself, it seemed. And she was confident enough that like when Steven didn't like tell her stuff, she was like, cool, we're not talking for a couple days. <laughs> she was just like, cool, I'm gonna leave all these messages on red. I don't even care. Give me some space. She cut all her hair off. This all sounds like me. No, um, actually it doesn't because I don't have that kind of confidence. But the cutting the hair off sounds like me. And I appreciate that. I Even when I cut it, I was just like, I connied my hair. But um, that's why I love Connie. That's why I love this outfit because this is when she was training with Pearl. And she is preparing to battle like forces that she shouldn't be able to battle like she is just a regular human person and she doesn't let that uh dictate what she can and can't do and that's awesome so she inspires me i bring her with me everywhere because it reminds me to be more confident in myself and to just fight for the things that i love and the things that i want and the to be myself bam connie love her oops i just dropped her on the floor don't pay attention to that okay last but not least i just got this pop recently um it was at ultimate comics and i got it from pride start it is dion bam from clueless now i'm not like obsessed with clueless like people who are like clueless fans are obsessed with clueless but the thing about dion is that genesee what and i have been saying we are going to cosplay sharon dion for years to the point where in my purse at this very moment is a really old school flip phone that i'm going to use when this happens hopefully it will happen in october is that one that is? in I think it's October for PD Comic Con. We will see. Hopefully I can sew that fast. But Dion is life. And you know what? And get into it. Like, I like to have pops of characters I cosplay or am about to cosplay because they are amazing references. Like, now I can see her full costume that I was going to make all the way around so I can make sure... It's super accurate because we have issues with being way too precise when making costumes this thing this flower is not big enough oh my gosh my costumes ruined like it's ridiculous so I'm in love with her she's amazing I love the nose ring she's like super fancy and then a nose ring and braids and I'm down I'm down with this so this is my new inspiration and my newest pop and I love her. I don't know how I started all the way back here. And then I'm like leaning into the camera like, look at me. But, um, but yeah, I'm about it. I, I am about it. And that's what's important. Anywho, those were the three that I brought with me to Super Smash Con. They have nothing to do with Super Smash Con. Have nothing to do with the fact that I'm dressed as Bayonetta. But I figured I would make a lovely video. And I'm sure you guys will appreciate it. And if you don't, don't tell me. Um, so I hope you guys say nice things to me. <laughs> Make sure you guys like and subscribe because that's what everybody says at the end of their videos. I almost said movies and that's really weird of me. Anywho, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That's it. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a 
great weekend. And if you're at Super Smash Con, I hope to see you soon. Mwah!